Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Now, I'm excited. I am excited. I've been waiting for this. You know I got my Mac Pro uh, uh, early uh, yeah. this year. But the problem with the Mac Pro, very, very fast, SSDs inside, and they're not huge. Uh, a 500 gig drive, you know, pretty much the operating system and the apps do it. I don't have room for anything else. So I've been looking for a fast external drive. Ooh. You want to go Thunderbolt 2. That's mm -hmm. the latest interface. It's something supported by the Mac Pro. But there have been a dearth of true Thunderbolt 2 devices. I've been waiting for Lassie's little big disk. It's finally here. Let's take a look. I'm going to walk on over to our uh, radio corner so we can take a look at the little big disk 2. And before you get all excited about this, I do want to say one thing. It is very pricey. But, of course, if you're somebody who's using a Mac Pro, this will also work with uh, any Thunderbolt 1 device, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, you won't get all the benefit of it. But if you're somebody who can afford a Mac Pro, this is, this is, a, this is a pretty nice uh, uh, choice. It is little. It's small. That's why they call it the little big disk. And most importantly, it's fast. This is what you're paying $12.99 for. The little big disk 2, Thunderbolt 2, and it's true Thunderbolt 2. I have a number of Thunderbolt 2 devices that are really just Thunderbolt to USB. This is actually true Thunderbolt 2, and I'll tell you, it is so fast. I'm going to pull up the benchmarks uh, we did on this thing. It's actually faster. It's so fast, it outpaced the ability of the Black Magic Disk speed test to measure it. And the reason I say that is, you see, there's the right speed. Because is that right? A thousand megabytes a second? That's a gigabyte a second right speed. Now, read speed's showing somewhat less, 717 megabytes a second. I think that's an error because almost all SSDs you get a uh, read speed that is faster than a write speed. Maybe that has to do with the RAID 0. I'm not sure. Enough said. This is really fast. I put it on last year's Mac, or actually two years ago, the 2012 MacBook Pro with Retina display. That is a Thunderbolt 1. This was faster than the SSD internal, internal to the MacBook Pro. This thing is super fast. Now, I'll tell you why. First of all, 20 gigabits per second on the Thunderbolt 2 port. And by the way, you can daisy chain them. So there's a second port there. So you can have a number of Thunderbolt devices. If you have some Thunderbolt 1 devices, you want to put this first so it doesn't slow down the bus. This, you, you need all the speed you can get out of this. Also inside, and this explains some of the expense, there's not one but two 500 gigabyte SSDs. As delivered from the box, these SSDs, these solid state drives, and by the way, they're not SATA, they're PCI Express. They come as RAID 0. That's what Alex Lindsay calls scary RAID. Uh, that's because if any of the two, either of the two drives fails, the whole thing fails. You can set it up. There's software that comes with the little big disk to set it up for, for, uh, for uh, redundant mode, RAID 1. So it's running in Stripe, but you could run it in redundant mode. There's also a way to run this as a JBOD, just a bunch of disks drive and get the full terabyte. Uh, I'm using it in Scary Raid, Raid Zero. I'm just going to make sure I keep it backed up, mostly because I want all of this throughput. And the reason this is an important product for the Mac Pro marketplace is Apple spec the Mac Pro for editing 4K video. And to do that, you need a lot of speed. That's why Blackmagic makes this benchmark application. You see all those green checks? That means almost any video format you can import, you can work with. Now, it, it only goes up to 2K. But I can tell you, the speed of this 4K video, it would have no problem at all. No problem at all. So, pros on this. It is beautiful. Beautiful design, as all the Lussi discs are. Uh, it looks like the bigger Lussi discs, only it's, it's little. And I'll tell you what, when you put it next to a Mac Pro, you're going to have people saying, wow, you have a gorgeous setup, don't you? It really, it, it, and, it's, and it's suitable in size, too. You don't want a big, giant disc next to it. Uh, Speed is unparalleled. Thunderbolt 2 is super fast. This uses all the Thunderbolt bandwidth by using dual PCIe SSDs for maximum throughput. Really nicely done. Uh, I have to say, I, I've, it's as fast as the internal drive on the Mac Pro. 
Um, and, and that's really good news. It means you have an external drive that's as fast as the internal drive, and that is very, very fast indeed. A cons, there's just one, $12.99. Um, and I think, of course, uh, if you're using it in RAID 0, you, the requirement that you back it up. But, it, but the people who are going to be using this for video editing, they understand that. I don't think that's a problem. And frankly, I think they're willing to pay $1,299 for a solution that allows them to do 4K video. Uh, buy, try, don't buy. Well, I got to say, it's a buy if you have a Thunderbolt 2 computer. That means you've already spent a lot of money. And you have the need for this kind of speed. An absolute buy. Couldn't be happier with the LaCie Little Big Disc 2 featuring a Thunderbolt 2 interface. Another thing I got to praise LaCie for before we run, they include the Thunderbolt cable in here. A lot of drives don't. And that's a big expense. That's like another 50 bucks. I guess for $12.99, you could expect a Thunderbolt cable in here.